Bull run or bull shit? Tis the question. It's the crypto lifestyle, baby. Guys, I woke up this morning and I couldn't find myself getting out of bed because I got a lot weighing on my mind. If you didn't know by now, today marks the first day of the month where Bitcoin will be having this celestial event, so to speak, on May 13th of 2020. Of course, we're talking about the Bitcoin halving. To break it down for you in a nutshell, this halving will reduce the rate of inflation by cutting half of the miners profits every single time they validate a transaction across the Bitcoin's blockchain. But bull run or bullshit? Tis the question. Now, I think the powers that be, the suits, the manipulators, whatever you want to call them, they really got their eyes set on this one to make it backfire in our faces like we've been seeing over the past two years. I mean, come on, guys. It's no secret, right? We know there are very powerful people out there that wants to demonize Bitcoin, discredit it, or just, you know, do things like calling it a fraud out of flat-out ignorance. Like we've seen in the past year with Facebook LibraCoin, where I was pretty much one of the only or the fewest YouTubers that were telling you guys to stay away from it, stay away from the false hype, right? Same thing with Bact. It's really funny how the human psyche operates, right? Everybody has seemed to forgot about Bact when all of these other YouTubers, where I like to refer to them as the CNN reporters on YouTube, is portrayed by some CNN YouTubers out there. We're feeding this BS to you guys when Again, with Bact, I was one of the fewest, if not the only guy, screaming the opposite, warning that you will be dumped on. Which, by the way, was an extremely unpopular opinion at the time. ...in-depth video on this subject in the near future. If I can leave everyone with just one piece of advice, it'll be this. Look, just don't be a sheep. Don't listen to mainstream media when it comes to cryptocurrency news, especially backed announcements. Take this in for a second, guys. All the turmoil that the world's economies are facing right now, with the stock market is plunging, the forex market is in shambles, the housing market is a disaster, the commodities market is no better. Will the powers that be allow Bitcoin to rise in price during these times? Or in other words, would they allow Bitcoin to gain clout and credibility? Can they do anything about it or is it completely out of their control this time around? Well, this celestial event, the Bitcoin having that is, isn't really something that they're used to, right? This isn't false news or false hype. This isn't something that they created themselves. This is a reoccurring event that happens every four years. So what I'm getting to is, this is not something that we have seen them controlled in the past, like the Facebook Libra coin, like BAC, and like Bitcoin ETFs. This isn't controlled by their mainstream media. This is not false hype from shillers on YouTube, also known as CNN YouTube reporters. This is based off of simple mathematics and economics, something that we haven't seen them hype up before. So we could expect some different results, or should we? I don't know, because these guys are gonna do anything it takes in their power to discredit this new asset class we know as Bitcoin. That's a fact. I don't personally understand the value of something that has no actual value. You all can do whatever you want, and I don't care, okay? <laughs> all right, that sounds definitive. Bitcoin hit a new high today. It just I, I could care less what Bitcoin trades for, how it trades, why it trades, who trades it. If you're stupid enough to buy it, you'll pay the price for it one day. So what I think would happen is this. As we're seeing right now, Bitcoin has gone up, what, over 20% in a matter of a day and a half. Um, and it has gone up in value over $1,800, setting at roughly $8,800. I think after the event or leading up to the event, we'll either see Bitcoin have an initial surge and then a correction thereafter, or perhaps even a correction before and then a surge after May 13th. But surely we will see some form of like short-term gains and then a correction. But truth be told, I think the real results from this having will occur roughly about nine months to like maybe a year or just over a year thereafter if the previous halvings is an indicator or a sign of things to come. So in conclusion, manipulation normally comes in the form of misinformation that is pumped by mainstream media or the CNN YouTube reporters. But in this case, for the first time ever, this event is an organic event that is, for the most part, out of their control. So the question remains, will we finally get the epic Bitcoin bull run we've all been waiting for since 2017? Or, or will the suits get the last laugh and shit all over us once again? Well, let me tell you, there's only one way to find out, 
and May 13th is about two weeks away. So you know what? There really isn't much left to say other than until the next video, you're on your own. Later. I'm going back to bed. Man, I don't, man, I don't understand it. Your continent up to par. I think we all demand it. Your shit lies. I know you feel shit inside. TCL lifestyle, you can beat mine. You don't want the smoke green cause it's eat time. You don't know this crypto life. You tried it cause the buzz hot. Fake YouTubers and fake gas ammo. It's the crypto lifestyle. Don't fake the shit on your channel. Content created came from TCL. You hate hard, but you know I'm gonna wish you well.